Oh, uh, that's going to scratch that that itch, unfortunately. Um, but it does, it like, it's very basic in its upgrading and uh, character uh, progression, player progression, whatever you want to call it. It's very basic in it, so it gives you something, but some people want more, some people don't mind it, like me. So it's really... Uh, whatever you prefer. Like, if you like, eh, I think I can manage, I think I can enjoy it. But yeah, you'll like it. Oh, uh, also. If you're looking for, if you're looking for something that's like Overlord 1 and 2, you just might as well play Overlord 1 and 2. Be straight honest with you on that one. This is a very totally this is this is not like an overlord game. I was too short, damn it. Hope that helps, then just stick. 93. You know what I always like? I always like how the sticks like the river of sticks or some spell. Like sticks or spell. I found it was too way was way too short. Really? Way too short? I guess I guess you could say it's way too short. I don't, I don't think it's way too short. It's like ten hours. I, th I think you get a solid nine or ten hours out of it. Which is, which, I'm going to be dead honest with you, is longer than most first-person shooter campaigns. Like, those Call of Duty campaigns are like five hours at best. You know? And then they, because it's mainly built around multiplayer. That's what they expect you to do the whole time, is uh, play multiplayer. So, compared to, you know... Others like some games. This has a pretty good, uh, good game. Game and time. Eight, I say like eight to ten hours. That's pretty good. God damn it. All right, I don't got time for all you bullshit. Now it's Luke. Oh uh, yeah, you see this guy? He's dead, but he's standing. But it's like it's not preventing me from continuing the game. So it's like something you just overlook. What are y'all going? Y'all not even doing nothing. Y'all over here making noises. What the hell? What are you doing with your life? Is there another top thing? Yes, it is. Yes. Oh my god, I stopped running. Oh, them spikes hit you. They slow you down. That's a mother... Motherfucker. Go, go, go. Oh, I'm dead too. Ah, they keep giving you first. What is this bull clip? Are we going this Maybe we're not going that way. Maybe we're going this way. He's hitting more like a crotchety uncle. Nope, not that way. I see another time trial. Alright, the time trials begin. But this one's much easier. Yeah. He was like, hey, you've been doing these things really well? Here's one where it's gonna be really impossible for you. He's like, oh, you just ran through all the other ones? 
now you die. Uh, first, yes. But then mine actually counted. Yours didn't. They just said, mm, whatever, put them first. Yeah, because it was a freaking glitch. It was a graphical glitch. Oh. At least that was that. that so he turn off. Oh, don't turn them back on. Yeah, because you turned them back on. Your death was your own fault. More golden holes. Take a look at those scratches. Oh, okay. This way. Oh. Ah. Don't follow behind me on the step. Alright, wait, wait. Need the hill. I'm dying here. I think I'll beat the game about six, seven hours. And for a game that's only story mode, it should have more to it. But I guess that's only $25. You pay $25 for yours? I only pay like 20 something. 20 to one, 21 dollars with some change for mine. So I got, I felt like I got more for my buck. But, but, give me one second.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. That was fun, fun bit. Okay, so like I was saying, we're both dead. So like I was saying, for me, um, I'm not a big PvP character. Okay, I don't really like the whole PvP scene. I can do it, but I'm not super into it. So, if I get a game and it's ba it's mostly based around multiplayer and you going online uh it it's it's not a viable deal for me paying sixty dollars for a game that i'm expected to create the fun in you know that's just my personal feel on it like multiplayer is, you know, is either your it's for you or not. And if they create a game around multiplayer and story mode second, it just doesn't. It's just not for me. It's just not a wise investment. I don't have a problem with multiplayer, but you want to put multiplayer in a game, that's fine. Like, uh, I'm probably not going to pick up uh, Battlefield right away. Star Wars Battlefront, I said Battlefield, but Star Wars Battlefront I'm probably not going to get. Because it has no campaign, it's just multiplayer. And the, it looks fun as hell, yeah, but again, it gets it wears out on me very quickly. So, I, I, I don't want to pay $60 for a game I'm only going to play for a little bit, you know? But, you got Fallout coming out, you got Tomb Raider coming out, all these, these heavy story-based games that focus on single player. And Tomb Raider did have multiplayer in it on uh, Xbox and had multiplayer on it. But, um... It had a good story, and it was a pop that we got. It had a good uh, story, you know, so I could I could play it for the story and do the collectibles and all that stuff. And if I wanted something different, I had multiplayer as an option. But the main draw of the game was its story, not its multiplayer. I I really despise games that focus mainly on multiplayer in a competitive format. And that's, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm, that, I'm concerned about Halo. Halo had, Halo 1, 2, and 3 had really good story and multiplayer. It's like you had all the stuff you could do in the campaign, collect skulls, uh, do the legendary challenge, all that. You could do, those, you could do that. But, Halo 5, I feel like they they chuck the story, they put it on the sideline to focus on multiplayer. And that really concerns me. The fact they took out split screen co-op uh, for campaign and, and, and the story, this dude's fucking dead. I'm wasting my time on him. They're all fucking dead. Uh, they split, they, they seem like they focus mainly on Okay, these dudes aren't dead. What the fuck? Yeah, but they're taking damage, so that's